Hey everyone, Dirty Diode here. Today I want to go over the HMCS, otherwise known as the Helmet Mounted Queuing System. And what that is, is it's this fancy little heads up display that follows you around wherever you look. And for those of you who have been flying the Warhog for a while, I mean, you probably know how to work this and set things as soy and speed and all that good stuff. But um, for those of you who don't, I'm just going to do a quick overview of how to turn it on in case you do a cold start and it's not on. So let me unpause this and you're going to see if you click this button down here, you can actually turn it on. And so you got battery off and on. You just generally want to leave that in the on position. So uh, there you have it. Now for getting more into the advanced stuff here, if you hit the stat button on your right MFD, uh, now you can actually put down any MFD or any button. And I can go through the feature video here, but if you hit that button and then you go up here to HMCS, you get your HMCS symbology page. And here is where the magic happens. Basically each element here is going to be a different feature within your uh, HMCS that you can uh, turn on or off and a couple other things with. And uh, you know, it's uh, pretty handy to have those on because right now, if I look down, I can't see squat. And for me, it's very annoying when you're flying around and uh, you're tracking something, all of a sudden it gets right below your airplane and now it just all goes away. So uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make that uh, happen. So uh, on this page here, uh, you got a couple items here. So first of all, you've got day mode and night mode. And so day mode and night mode, even though those are both set to 90% right now, they are actually uh, two different th things. Uh, they're 90% of that setting. So your day mode setting is pretty bright but your night mode setting is kind of dim. So even those are both 90, that's, you know, different. And where this comes into play is if you're taken off from like, I don't know, an airfield and it's dark and you're watching the sun come up and everything's looking good and all of a sudden it just, it, it gets bright enough that you can't see and you realize you can't see. You might even like come over, set this as uh, soy and try to raise your brightness up or down with your uh, DMS uh, up short or down short and you know that is uh, a good way to do that but it will only get you so far if you're not on the right mode so click at the day mode and you're good to go uh, what else you have on here is you have your pro 1 2 and 3 symbology pages and basically I never have use for these <laughs> I just I set pro the way I want it and I, I'm just off to the races and so I don't even think about these other ones but if you accidentally hit your uh, DMS short left or right as you are uh, trying to fly around. In fact, sorry, it's just right. But if you hit that as you're flying around, you can see that cycling there. So if something doesn't quite look right or you look at that, you might have accidentally hit that. But that is what you're actually doing is switching between these. So then the next item we've got here is you have uh, your symbology up or down. So you can basically it's a selector, if you will, for each item within here. And then you've got a, uh, a button here that will cycle between the options for whatever you're on. So here, by default, it's occluded, but you've noticed if I start clicking that to on, you can actually see the cursor. So pretty straightforward. I just blaze through. I set these all to on. There's a couple that uh, are a little different, but that's just what I do. If I'm starting up cold uh, while things are aligning, I'll just go through and Hit each one of those to on, and I'm I'm done. Uh, the other options you have in here, you've got a range. You can actually set the range that you start seeing some of the stuff that pops up in your HMCS. If you're in a really dense combat environment, I could see wanting to modify those, but I I just leave it as is. I mean, for all intents and purposes, it's fine as is. Uh, the other button that we've got here that's popped up recently here is this uh, INR uh, button. You can cycle between area point and INR, and it's labeled as select TGP track mode when slewed to HMCS line of sight. Like, I get what it's trying to do here, but for whatever reason, I'm either not uh, able to make anything happen with it, or it's a bug. Uh, you know, if you can actually make a difference with that button, please let me know what I'm doing wrong in the comments below. Um, but without further ado, let's go through a couple of these items here so we can uh, see what they do. So crosshair, pretty straightforward. Uh, own speed, occluded. So that's going to be, let me just drop a speed here real quick. So there you go. There's your speed. So pretty straightforward. Then you've got this item here, the speed indicator. And that 
if you look, let me switch hands here so I can move my mouse, you can see your asterisks on here on or off. So I don't know why you'd want that off, but if you do, go to occluded. And this is one of the two ones that doesn't have on, off occluded. The next one is the second of those, and that's your horizon lines. Normal, ghost, or off. So if I look out here, you've got your normal horizon line, your ghosted horizon line, the dashes, or off. Straightforward, but even if it's on, it still disappears with everything else. So I don't know if that's a bug, but there you have it. Okay, your HDC, that is going to be when you're moving stuff around. So you got that little box right there around your uh, speed. So if I come down here and then I toggle that, bam, there you go. Uh, hook ship. So if I actually want to hook something, so let's uh, let's set a mark point over here. Let's actually set our mark points on. So let's say I've got a mark point that I want to hook. So TMS up short. Sorry. TMS up short. There we go. So now I'm hooked. You can see the yellow line. So with that, your hook ship, if I go to on, bam, you can now see the yellow line. Okay, TGP diamond. That one is pretty straightforward, but it's actually the little diamond that's like shows up in the middle. So if I move, let's just come down here and dehook. Set a new spot here. Let's slave everything to it. So you can see the TGP diamond in the middle. And if I set my TGP up here so you can see it, there you go. So cool. I don't like just that though. It's a. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't really tell me much. So I always like to set the FOV, the field of view, to on. And there's that green box that you're used to looking at. Uh, some other options here. Flight members are going to be the guys you're you're with. On I, I believe it's just what you have set on uh, similar on the net, your own group. But I could be wrong. But you know, on off occluded. There you go. Uh, here's their spees, so you can actually see when they're on the ground and whatnot through the airplane. Uh, donor air, uh, PPLI, I don't know if this is just the airplanes around you that are not on your own net, but there you go. Uh, speed for those guys. So again, I don't know as much about some of these lower ones, but I just set them on because as I'm going through, I mean, I'm literally just bam, 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 bam. And so pretty simple, you can set them however you want. But, uh, yeah, I just go through and do that. And it is a lot easier to do that, though, if you actually have a uh, MFD, a real MFD on your, on your desk, like the Cougar MFDs. I'm not trying to sell them, but they are pretty darn cool if you ever get a chance to pick one up. Uh, so let's continue on. So we've got a ground environment, so same kind of deal. I just set those all on. So then we come to uh, M uh, ER. Point. So I thought that would be this little red triangle up here, but it is not. I actually don't know what that one is. <laughs> I'll still set it on. Uh, steer point. So pretty straightforward. If you actually have a steer point outside, let's see if we can find one. So steer point. Let's set this back to mission. So you can just start to make out. You got a steer point up here. So right now it's off, but there it goes. So steer point on, and then you've got your mark points on, mark point labels. All that's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Now airspeed. So here's the, uh, the rest of these on the bottom are pretty good. So airspeed is going to be airspeed indicator on the left. Your radar altitude is going to be down here on the right. Barometric altitude is up here on the right. Aircraft heading is going to be down here, and then your helmet heading is going to be up here. And then helmet elevation lines. So this one kind of depends on how I feel. I mean, it's nice having them, but I almost just set them off because sometimes they get to be too distracting for what I'm doing. But uh, that is it. So basically, once you get everything set up the way you want it, go ahead and just go off to what you're doing and you know enjoy being able to look at stuff through your airplane. I'm just going to pull up here for a quick second so you can actually see what 
you can accomplish with that. So, like, as I'm flying around, I can see my mission one there. I could come up over here. I could see my TGP field of view down there. So, I mean, pretty handy being able to do that. So, this helped you. I uh, like me doing these or whatever. If you just feel like it, give me a uh, thumbs up. Uh, hit subscribe. I definitely appreciate that. And uh, other than that, I'm going to try to get some more videos out sometime soon here. It's been too long. So, thank you, everyone. Have a good day, and I'll catch you all later. Dirty Diode, signing off.